Hi, I'm Braden Miter with the Allegheny County Park Rangers and today we are at Boyce Park. We're going to take you on a little tour around the park to see some different things that are either blooming or still have leaves from last year or just unique sites that you can find this time of year. To start, we're here with an American redbud tree. This is a really cool tree. They're beautiful. They're often planted in landscape settings like we're in right now. Um, you can see this one's still a pretty young tree. It's being protected by this bark guard here against the deer that are gonna come out and start rubbing their antlers um, to try and get the velvet off a little bit later in the year. Uh, but these trees are called red buds for a pretty obvious reason. They have red flowers that are just starting to pop out here from the buds. Um, they will become full bloom as we get into April, uh, and they're very easy to spot right now with everything else, uh, the other flowering trees not quite going yet, um, and all the leaves down. So you'll be able to spot these either in a landscape setting or in the forest from pretty far away with their bright pinkish um, to almost purple flowers on them. So this is our um, first thing we're gonna check out today. And you can follow me as we head out through the park to find some more stuff to see. We stopped at the Carpenter Log House to check out a different tree species now. Uh, behind me is the Carpenter Log House, which is a log house circa early 1800s. You can actually come here in the summertime on Sundays and check it out, and they'd be happy to show you around. But the reason that we stopped here today was to look at the sweet gum trees and their seed pods. So what I'm holding in my hands right here are the seed pods from the sweet gum tree. The sweet gum, which you can see planted along the roadway here behind me and off to our sides, is not a native species to Pennsylvania. It's from the southeastern United States, but it was brought all over the country and planted in landscapes like this, primarily because of its very beautiful uh, bright crimson red leaves in the fall. So it's a really pretty tree. You can find it all over the place. And one of the most easy ways to identify it, especially when it doesn't have leaves on it, are finding the seed pods scattered about all over the ground. And you can see all around us here, there are seed pods everywhere. There's still a few up in the branches. These develop uh, throughout the summer and then into the fall. They pop open. And when they do, there are, uh, basically the seed pods are made up of an aggregate of two celled capsules that are all over this thing that kind of make a spiky cluster. And they're actually pretty hard and they'd be kind of uncomfortable if you stepped on them in your bare feet. Um, but we'll take a look at the inside of one so you can see. Here we have a seed pod that we have split in two. And you can see each of the little capsules inside that would contain one or two of the seeds and also the granular material. And when all of those capsules are put together in a sphere, they kind of end up making this spiky ball that hangs from the trees. But it's a really unique plant uh, with this neat seed pod on it, and you can find it throughout all of the Allegheny County parks. All right, one of the other things we can look for while we're out here in the woods are a variety of animal species. And while we may not see them when we're out here, we can look for animal tracks. So we have a picture of some deer tracks here on the screen. Um, when you're looking at a deer track in the wild, you're looking for their direction of travel if you wanna know which way they're going. And they've got these two little nubs in the back and the points in the front, so they're traveling towards the point of the hoof. And here along this trail that we're following as we're heading down the wet to the wetland to look at um, some different plant species that we'll talk about uh, are some deer tracks in the mud right along the trail. And you can see the points of the hooves are here and the back, you can't see quite as well as in that picture, but we can tell by the points on here, this deer is heading this direction down the trail towards where we're going actually. So maybe we'll catch up with it. Continue on our journey through Boyce Park, we're gonna take a look at some different plants now instead of trees. Uh, we're looking at one of the first flowering plants that come up throughout the year, uh, and it's very unique. You probably wouldn't consider it a wildflower at first whenever you came across it, uh, but what we have here in front of us is known as skunk cabbage. Now, you might be familiar with this if you spend a lot of time in wetlands in the summertime. It's a very large, leafy plant that can get very big. I mean, almost spread out as far as my arms. Really wide, broad leaves that have stalks that almost look like thin celery coming out of them but if you would break those or tear the leaves or brush up against them it has a very strong odor similar to that of a skunk and hence the name skunk cabbage 
Um, they're really cool, um, a very different plant. Actually encapsulated inside of this hood structure uh, is the flowering body, uh, which you can see is a really weird looking round ball with a bunch of bumps on it. Uh, it almost kind of looks similar to the sweet gum uh, seed pod. Uh, but this is the flowering structure of the plant here. Uh, and the other really cool thing about them that's very unique from many other plants is they are actually endothermic. So they can create their own heat. Now this year we haven't seen much snow, but if we had a snowy spring uh, and you came out here when these um, skunk cabbages were first sprouting out of the ground, they will produce enough heat to actually melt the snow around them to allow them to get a head start on the other plants uh, that are in the area. So it's a really cool feature. Uh, to come and check out right now. You can find these in almost any wet marshy areas down by the stream. So when you come out in the parks, um, come check out the little wetland areas or the stream sides and see if you can find some skunk cabbage. Now these won't be around for very much longer. Uh, they'll start to wilt and fade away and we can already see some that are starting to deteriorate here and have leaves that are starting to pop up. So don't waste your time on these ones. Our next stop is to check out this cool little grove of young American beech trees. Now the thing that I think is really neat about the young American beeches that we have here is a lot of them retain their leaves through the springtime uh, until the new leaves start to sprout out and um, you know push these off the tree. Uh, beech trees are a pretty popular tree in our woodlands. Uh, you can see they have a very smooth gray bark as young trees and as they mature they keep that very smooth bark and they're pretty easily identifiable. Uh, they're a great food source for animals. They produce beech nuts uh, which are little small round nuts about that big uh, and they're also edible by humans. Uh, so you can find these again throughout all of our parks and this time of year when all the other leaves don't have all the other trees don't have leaves on them these are easily identifiable from far away even when you're driving down the road you can see these almost paper white beech leaves from a distance. We do want to make sure you are aware of one thing while you're out exploring the parks right now. We just had a nice deer tick crawling up my pant leg. We tried to get a shot of it for you, but the wind ended up blowing it away before we could squish it or get a shot of it. So be aware, it is tick season. Use bug spray with DEET on it. Make sure you're spraying around your openings on your clothing, around your waist, your sleeves, and your pants. And make sure you do a good tick check when you get home. And if you do find a ch uh, tick that's embedded on you, you can talk to your doctor about whether you need to get tested or not. So now we're standing in front of another very unique tree species that can be found within the Allegheny County Parks. This tree can actually be found all over, uh, but it wasn't that way until several decades ago. The tree behind me that we're looking at is the Dawn Redwood tree. Now I know what you're probably thinking, a redwood, that's a conifer and it should have green needles all over it right now, right? Well, not this one. The Dawn Redwood tree is actually a type of conifer that loses its needles in the winter time and regrows them every year. Uh, so a lot of people can think that this tree that we're looking at behind us is actually dead. Uh, but you can see uh, all the little pine cones all over it. Uh, it's doing quite well. Uh, and come springtime, it will have needles all over it again. The really unique thing about this tree is that scientists knew it existed millions of years ago, but until 1944, they thought it was extinct in the, throughout the rest of the world, when a very small population of them were discovered uh, in central China. After that, uh, seeds were collected and it was uh, studied and then dispersed throughout the world. And now you can find them just about everywhere. Uh, one of the unique ways to identify them is like their cousin redwood trees, uh, the, the giant redwoods that we find in California. These grow up to 100 and over 165 feet tall. So they are massive trees. This one you can see behind me right now, uh, it's probably about 20, 25 feet tall. Uh, so it's still pretty young, but you can find these all around Alabama. Allegheny County. Um, they have a very standard uh, conical, very typical pine tree shape. So they're easy to identify, especially this time of year when you see a uh, 7,500 foot tall pine tree that doesn't have any needles on it, but has kind of that perfect pine tree shape to it. So take a look for these while you're driving around or if you're walking in our parks. Uh, they're pretty easy to spot and they're actually all around us.
Another easy identifiable plant this time of year, even though it doesn't have any leaves or probably because it doesn't have any berries, which you know it for, uh, is our black raspberry. You can see in this bramble of bushes here, um, otherwise known as jagger bushes for the local folks watching, uh, you can see this purple tinted uh, bush here uh, with the little thorns all over it. So be careful um, because they will stick in your finger. Uh, but we've got a very purple, dark purple skin under this kind of light purple almost bluish powder that's on the surface that you can kind of just wipe right off but these are standing out very obvious right now so you can kind of go around and do your scouting for where you want to come pick and eat some raspberries and later in the year thanks for joining us in exploring boyce park today we hope you can get out and enjoy the rest of the allegheny county parks in the near future uh, it's a great place to see new and exciting things especially in the springtime when everything is changing over the next few weeks new flowers are going to be sprouting every day the trees are going to start to leaf out so it's a great time to come out in the parks and explore and see if you can come out and find all the different things that we talked about today and if you come out and you find some other really cool stuff uh, and you want to know what it is or maybe you just want to tell us about the cool things that you found you can go ahead and put it in the comments below this video